dope shit like that, Jerry. Oh, hi. Welcome back, to kids. Um, follow your dreams. Welcome, boys and girls. This is Adrenaline 101 bringing you live uh, playthrough commentary of Mass Effect 3. And right off the bat, I'd like to say that I am a huge fan of this game. I've played the original, the second, and now this final ending of this trilogy. And man, I've played so many hours in this game, I can't even tell you how much I remember from the first to the second and now to the third the amount of information that you get from this game is phenomenal i i've enjoyed playing this game and and i really i i a part of me doesn't want to see this end but you know when you're invested into something like this it's it almost it's almost in certainty that it's going to end and you know what better way to be able to finish this game but to go through this through this game and uh you know Put in my little my little two cents into it and you know hopefully you know you'll enjoy my my live commentary along with this along with this game so let's get this started all right so let's see do a new game multiplayer downloadable content extras uh you know let's go through the extras first i just kind of want to see like what what's there this is going to be kind of stupid but i always like to kind of go through a little bit of this and kind of i'm going to change the uh the combat difficulty because i've played this before so i'm really no stranger to this so i think i'm gonna go for hardcore and i'm not gonna do the auto leveling up i think that's stupid I, I like to be able to maintain everything that I do and manage everything that, that, that I do out there. So let's see. Yeah, make sure the subtitles are on. Yeah. But, uh, you know, as a, as a whole, you know, this being a, a trilogy as, as it is, I, 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 was, I was really hesitant to, to pick this copy up just because um, they were adding... Um, multiplayer to this game and for this game to be such a, a strong single-player experience it, in my eyes it didn't seem necessary for them to add that on because every game nowadays has a multiplayer aspect to it I mean just take Dead Space for example I mean that that game the original Dead Space was is one of my favorite survival horror shooters out there just because it did it right you know it it, it it immersed you into the game it it gave you everything you wanted inside that game as a whole and you were satisfied with it and you know of course they add the second one that i mean there's a sequel to it and they add multiplayer to it did they really need it i didn't think so but in this one this is this is totally different because they can take it one of two ways they can add it on there where it's completely useless and you don't need it and you don't care about it or they add it on there and they expand your experience you know in adding a multiplayer aspect to it so we'll soon to find out I'll, i'm going to be adding some uh, some multiplayer um uh playthroughs on here so just to get an idea of like how the, how the game is how it how it flows and all that all that stuff so all right so now let's uh let's import my my character from from the second one which was a uh soldier soldier class and look see 92 hours i i clocked in on that game i i played the shit out of that game just because the the story of the game for you for the for your own character to die in the second one really put me in a it put me in a spot where i was like okay if i'm gonna play this game i'm gonna go through every single you know every every nook and cranny and find every little thing i had to and you know i mined you know most of the planets out there i mean i'd have to say like maybe at least like maybe 95 to like 98 percent of all the planets that were in in the second game i you know found the resources for just because i didn't want to miss anything and i didn't want my character to die so uh, that's how that's how invested i was into this game and i'm not, sh uh, I'm not i don't think i'm doing this right should be that one adrenaline shepherd 
that's the most save 29 and yeah see i mean even the date it's the day that i finished it was 3 7 2012 so right a little bit right before the actual you know the date of the the date of the release of the the third one i finally finished it there was a gap in between that just because i was so nervous of you know getting all the resources plus it was all that dlc you know additional content that you had to get so i was just like it took me a while it took me longer than i thought so Shh, cannot successfully what uh, man that fucking sucks all right well i guess i'm um I'm gonna leave a uh, a little um, a, a little note up on the very top before the before this, and just in case if you want to to skip ahead and you don't want to watch this, um, I could I'll, I'll put it up there to say exactly when you uh, when you can actually get back. I mean when you can actually go to it when I'm finished this, so you don't have to watch it. But damn, that sucks that I have to do this all over again. But oh well. Just make the, make make the most of it, so it doesn't matter too much. <laughs> you know that reminds me. From doing this, you know this facial profile, it uh it reminds me of when I did this for the first time, you know five plus years ago, and I remember that when when your character you can rotate his his face to move left and right and up and down, that really put me that really made me look at the game and be like damn this looks amazing the 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 face the 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 way the eyes you know pivot the way that they the, the blinks you know just every little thing in it it was just like i was watching something that was that you haven't really seen before you know this the, the this type of you know meticulous details in the character i you didn't really see that that often or at all you know the, the five years ago you know, now you see it more often i mean like la noir i mean them using the you know the the um facial caption was just it's, it's amazing that that revolutionized the way that the way that you're going to see characters you know in the games now you're going to really see their emotion driven on them because that's the real person doing that so this is i mean this is this is very good at at its time and looking at it again it's just kind of makes me kind of makes me kind of like you know remember back in the day when when i first picked this game up and didn't know that much about it you know i picked it up just because it the way that it looked the way that the the, the story of it and you know, the fact that it, it took it, it took place in the in, in the future and you know humanity has expanded their their technology to be able to you know travel outside of the outside of earth outside of our solar system it that just i mean because it's inevitable at some point our our species will you know move to that next evolution you know that next where we're going to jump in our you know in our advancement so it's 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 really it's 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 really cool to see a game like this that that kind of of course it's you know it's not it's still a video game so you can't go too crazy with it but i it it, it grabbed me just because i remember hearing about it that it was that the fact that you can choose your dialogue you can choose what direction you want to go in any conversation which at that time is wasn't any wasn't too new i remember the chronicles of riddick um the um escape from uh, uh butcher bay i remember that game had a dialogue that you can choose determine which way you can go now it wasn't as complex as as this game is but you know the the overall you know conversation tree was there so i um I like a game like that, you know, that gives you choice. This is, this is a huge, huge game that gives you choice in every little thing you want to do, down to the face, down to if you want to add a scar to the to, to your character's face, if you want it to be a man or a woman, if you want them to have crazy hair, or you know, whatever. Even their the armor, the guns, every little thing you can customize. So it's 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 really becomes your own because of all the tools that it gives you. So I'm just. Uh, I'm just so excited to be able to, to play this game. I just, I, I've been waiting, waiting for this game to come out, you know, after, you know, after that, I knew, because I knew, I, I knew by that time when the, when I was playing the second one that there was going to be a third. Um, there was talk about it, you know, the, the Mass Effect universe continuing, not 
being you know your main character uh, commander shepherd but i i wouldn't be surprised if you saw other you know iterations in this this in this game you know becoming like a series or becoming not necessarily a sequel but you know in in, in addition to the actual universe because it's it's so immersive just like you know like star wars like star wars old republic you can do so much with that game and there's there's virtually no no limit to how far you can be able to go in that the the, the amount of you know places that you can go they're so vast so I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a really good game in the future you'll have something you know you'll have some more of these so it's and I'm sure that they'll bank on having having more of these but I think I'm almost you know I like I don't like that. I'm. I think I'm gonna go with that one. The second one. I think the second one is better. Yeah. No, not that one. No, I don't like that. Maybe that. No, I think I kind of like the second one a little bit more. No, I think that was that. That's better. Got to go with a little bit of a uh, little bit of facial hair. That's perfect. That's perfect. I'm not gonna go with any crazy color hair or any anything like that. I'm gonna keep it very very basic. Um, hopefully, you know, sometime sometime soon the uh, the developers will uh, be able to have you update your, your your face or something like that because that seems very bizarre that they weren't able to do that because the the second one had no problem taking the, the the face of the character you know and importing it to the second so I'm a, I'm a little shocked that they didn't that you weren't able to do this but I'd imagine that they'll have some sort of uh, update for you to be able to do it so yeah I think that's it let's confirm it Let me try one more thing. Yeah, see, see, I, I, I knew it. I was thinking about it again. The hair, the second one, that one's gonna do it. Yeah, I like that one. All right, let's confirm that. All right, so now I don't want to do the soldier again because I've already done that. Um, infiltrator, not too much. I'm not, I'm not really wanting to. I really wanted to do that. Kind of want something that I can do both. I can be able to do use use tech and also use uh, bionics. Kind of want to do that. So I, I'm thinking Sentinel might be the best one for me because it's it's got a good mixture between the two. Vanguard would be cool just because it's all bionic. That would be that'd be cool. But I'm thinking Sentinel may be the best one for me. I'm not a big engineer, you know. I don't. I don't like the. Uh, the Adap would be cool too, but maybe after I get the feel of the game, because since I'm putting it on hardcore, I don't know how many times I'm going to be dying, and I don't want to, you know, seem cocky and think that I can just continue and play and and not not die, not die continuously. So I want at least. Get a get a familiar grasp of like what I can be able to play and what class is best. So I think I think Sentinel would be cool. So and one other thing to point out, I in doing this commentary, I I, I wanted to make it. Um, I, I I didn't want my voice and my, my you know my my little stupid little you know my stupid input to interfere with this game. So I'm gonna be very very careful and not add you know anything to the conversation while it's happening i'm not going to throw my little a little joke in there or anything like that i'm not going to do that because this game there's so many little things that you need to pay attention to that i don't want anyone to be listening to it and be like you know just i, I want to listen you know some people can't play, can't can't play this game you know for, for anyone any any number of reasons but i don't want that to interfere i'm gonna i'm gonna do the commentary in the background while there's like nothing nothing going on so I'll, I'll do my best to do that i i just don't want to be interfering with the the story what plays itself out so
So here we go. Damn, I've been waiting a long time to play this game. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Commander, you're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reavers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. It's the Reapers, and we're not ready for them. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one, then blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. Is that why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian Relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That and your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard? Kate? How'd it go in there, Major? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders, though. Major. You hadn't heard? No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, I suppose I did. So it's... It's good to see you. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to.
Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything you've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But... There must be some way. If we're gonna have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? They couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. haven't we heard from Admiral Hackett? What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight, or we die. We should get to the Normandy. <sighs> oh, that can't be good. Damn. Jeez, and that's just one. One of those Reaper machines. Damn, those things are powerful. Not with the pistol. I'm definitely that's definitely not gonna happen. Take a running jump. It's farther than it looks. Yeah, until I fall. Damn. That shit's on, fucking cool. Those things are huge. Shit. Down here, Shepard. You know, right off the bat the uh the controls are Whoa. The controls are um, identical to the the second one. Come on, we'll have to go this way. The first one had had its you know combat, you know Looks movement and hiccups, but Come on, let's keep still a fun game to play. Major, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. We're, we're, we're about five minutes out. Say again, Major. Husks. Take him out! 
Oh, I remember you fuckers. Yeah, got you, bitch. Yeah, the reload seems a, l a lot faster than the second one, reloading the pistol. Whoa, where are you going? Have to take these things out the old -fashioned way. Shit. No ammo. You gotta bust these guys over the face. You asshole. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I like that. They're just gotta find a way out of here. They're just relentless. Gotta get some ammo too. That's new. Through this way. My Omni tool turns into a damn sword. Different. Hey. It's okay. Everyone's dying. Someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! Get here. Stupid ass kid. You're screwed now. I'm not gonna help you. That's fucked up. It's just a kid. Uh, this is a goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. It's hard enough fighting a war, but it's worth knowing no matter how hard you try, you can't save them all. Exactly. I get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <sighs> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us. <clears throat> you sure about that? No, but you're a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. Gotcha. <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. All right, man. There's no reason to be cocky. Let's keep moving. Nice. So you just hold down B and melee does that. All right. Oh. Major Alenko, we're in center of the spaceport. ETA, three minutes. Jeez. Major, Caden, damn it, they're in trouble. Imagine trying to take that thing on with just a pistol. <laughs> I have no chance. Those things are ginormous.
You two all right? Get down, they'll see you. What the fuck is that? Come on, go fucking down. Damn. Take damage pretty quick. Fuck you. Anything else around? No. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. <laughs> Let's get to that gunship. Damn, that's so cool. There's so much shit that's going on just right off the bat. So one thing about the way that I play this particular game is that you always find little things in little corners behind you, so don't be surprised if you see me do that over and over. Sometimes you find shit you never knew. Damn. I need to use my fucking... my... my power is shit. I'm just forgetting how to... You gotta bear with me, this uh... fuck. This class I'm not uh I'm not I'm not too familiar with. This is my first time playing this class, so it might take me a little bit of time to get the work the work the little the little kinks out of this so so I can get familiar with it. So bear with me, I'll I'll get better, don't worry. That's it. Yeah, I need that armor. Armor, and then I can also. Yeah, okay. Come on. There you go. Fuck you. Is he gonna get up? Or did I kill him? Looks like he's down. Let's see anything around? Doesn't look like it. No, looks like I'm good to go. Nothing more. This is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship in the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. Major! Damn it! I've lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company. Oh yeah, let's take these fuckers down. I got some more, more of these fuckers to kill. Let's see if I can get this guy. Damn, didn't look like I got him. Side. 
Go to the other side, yeah. Get a better angle. Fuck! Ah, oh, this pistol's gonna be a pain in the ass. Hope they get there soon. You and me both. Just stay, just stay down, stay down. There you go. Shit, fuck, I'm out. How the fuck am I gonna get through this? Ah, oh, just in time. About time. You could say that again. Let's go. saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together, Anderson. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species, and all their ships, to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order. I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. There's that kid again. Damn. Hurry up. I can't get in there. Go, 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 go. Oh shit. Damn. Ooh. That's that's an intro. I mean this game didn't let up. Those are the expectations of this game. Damn, this game, damn this is gonna be so much fun playing this game. Hope you all enjoyed watching and um listening. Damn, this is gonna be a fun game to play, so uh, please do me a favor, like and comment on this on this on this first video. I'm um, I'm wanting to be able to to upload you know the next the next parts in relatively soon. So the more support I get on this game, I'm gonna continue to just do my best and just you know improve on my commentary and also just you know just bring this game to you because it's gonna be so much fun to be able to play this. So you know I'd like to say thank you for watching. And, And that's Mass Effect 3.